What is up, guys? I hope you're having a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about the fear of change and how it can affect your anxiety or even be the root cause of your anxiety. Go ahead and smash the like button down below if you're ready to kick anxiety in the butt. Leave me a comment, guys. Let me know if this is something that you struggle with. I definitely struggled with it. I think it was part of the reason I developed anxiety, amongst many other things. Um, but I think it's very, very important, especially when it comes to recovery. You have to get used to adapting. You have to get used to change. It's so crucial for not only your anxiety recovery, but life in general. So we're going to talk about that. But you know what time it is. Smash the like button down below if you're ready to kick anxiety in the butt. Leave me a comment, guys. Let me know if you struggle with this. Remember, the description down below has tons of resources, my coaching information. If you want to do that one-on-one -on -one with me, online therapy is down below. Uh, I just created a new Facebook community. Uh, I want you to join that. That's free. That'll be down in the description. First pin comment. Be a part of that community so you can get support for your anxiety issues. Um, but I want to jump into this topic, guys. Um, like I said, I think it's one of the many things that uh, contributed to my anxiety. I not only was a negative person before my anxiety disorders took over, I didn't like change too much. It bothered me. Now, of course, during my anxiety disorder days, that fear was intensified. Pretty much any fear that you have before is going to just be intensified whenever you have anxiety disorder. Um, but I struggled with this even whenever I was a child and a teenager. I got very comfortable, and some of this is natural. You know what I mean? Like your brain wants to make sure that you're comfortable whenever there's a scenario that's uncertain because that's what happens, right? Whenever you have a change coming up, something's going to be different. You don't necessarily know the outcome. You don't know if it's going to be good or if it's going to be bad. And that uncertain uncertainty alone can like flip you out or make you nervous or make you hesitant to change or to keep you from doing it. Um, and it, it causes you to be safe. Even if the situation that you're in or your environment or the decisions that you're making right now isn't the best. For instance, if you have a, a job opportunity coming up, the uncertainty of it being great and amazing or a nightmare keeps you from leaving the job that you have right now that you're comfortable at even though you don't necessarily like it. It's like you know this isn't what you want to do, but just the uncertainty and the change keeps you from switching and, and going to another job or seeking another opportunity. And I can go on and on. This is about everything, whether it be schedule, routine changes, starting to go to a gym whenever you haven't worked out in forever, um, you know, hanging out with a different group of friends, um, those of you that are socially anxious, <clears throat> you know, going and hanging out with a group of people you've never hung out with, uh, joining a community, joining a, 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 any type of class, uh, maybe you go to church and you're going to a new church. Any type of change when you're dealing with anxiety uh, tends to be hard on us. But I, I just want you to see it from this perspective. There's two different reasons why a lot of people don't like change. And one of them, like I mentioned, is the uncertainty. They do, they do not know if it's going to be good or if it's going to be bad. Well, here's the deal. You're going to have many changes in life. A lot of you are nervous if you change, for whatever reason your brain thinks like, this is gonna be the new me, this is gonna be the new situation and it's gonna be permanent. It doesn't have to be permanent. Try it out, make that change. If things don't work out for the best, you can change again. You can change the situation again. We act like it's a death sentence basically, or we're signing up for this change for life. No. Think of your life as this huge book, and each change is a chapter. You can have as many chapters as you want. You can have as many stories as you want, okay? So it doesn't mean that this is the end. Something else is failure. You fear that you're going to fail whenever you make this change, and that was something else that was big on me. I'm just going to be the first to tell you, failure is a part of life, and it helps you grow, and it helps you become a better person and it helps you basically in every aspect of your life whether you're an inventor an entrepreneur a musician it doesn't matter or just a regular average joe working a regular job failure is going to help you grow and help you learn so stop being so afraid of failure that's another thing i can't teach you how to not be afraid of it but i'm just letting you know failure is a part of life it's natural to fail that's how we actually learn so stop being so afraid of that Okay, so just know that if you have a change coming up, 
if something bad happens, you can always fix it. You can always learn from it. You can always start a new chapter if you want in your book, in your journey, in your life. So stop being afraid of the failure because failure is necessary and stop being afraid of the uncertainty as regarding the outcome. Because many of you, you have a crappy situation, a toxic situation, a situation that you're not happy about, but you stay and remain in it. Uh, it's basically you're sitting in your own filth and even though you have this opportunity coming up, you're, you're, you're afraid to do it. You're comfortable where you're at. You're just afraid of the uncertainty aspect and the possibility of failure. So I encourage you, especially if you're trying to recover from anxiety, you have to get used to change. Um, you have to get used to handling adversities, rolling with the punches. That's part of overcoming anxiety. But I love you guys. I hope some of you got value. Again, guys, the description down below, there's a lot of uh, information. If you're struggling with anxiety and you want extra help, remember, subscribe if you haven't, okay? I got hundreds of these anxiety self-help videos. Remember, leave a comment below as well if, you know, this, this video spoke to you. Um, it's a little bit different. I don't usually talk about things like this. I think I should, though, at least give my two cents on it. I don't claim to be an expert or anything on this stuff, but uh, just wanted to share this with you. It's kind of on my heart. You know, we don't need to be afraid of change. It holds not only anxiety sufferers back, but it just holds people in general. I think it's a human nature type thing. Our brain is trying to protect us at all times, make us more comfortable. Um, but guys, yeah, subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you hit the bell. That's very important. I want you guys to get notified when these come out. Just because you're subscribed doesn't mean you're going to get my videos, and I don't want you guys to miss anything. Um, remember my coaching info, uh, therapy info, that stuff is down in the description down below. Um, join the new Facebook communities that I have. There's multiple of those. Um, and remember, Anxiety Boot Camp is coming up in November, so be a part of that. Remember the first week, you're going to get that whole course half off, uh, which is an incredible bargain in my opinion. Um, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. So just be ready for that whenever that happens i'll keep letting you know as we get closer i don't want you to miss out on that opportunity but um i will talk to you soon guys keep fighting guys